I know November's a long way away and I don't think the guys are feeling very good about it. I think they were really hoping that this week something would pop up and the doors would open. I think we all kind of had that little bit of glimmer of hope and maybe November, but uh, lots of love towards the guys because they're feeling kind of disheartened now and they're, they're back in where they were. Well, I think today we went back to the first disclosure application and were able to, uh, the, the defense was able to speak to uh, the witness a little bit more in depth about the different roles that were um, it played out in coots from the different agencies so we've got like um, different levels of govern uh, governance within the official RCMPs and there was also federal you know federal different levels and, and who was involved in that so that was mostly today we can't really speak on anything that they said specifically but it was a lot of clarity based on like who was in charge of what and who commanded what and and that so it a little bit boring for some people, but for me, it kind of like helps to connect some dots into uh, as to maybe the how. <laughs> yeah. Earlier today, before the court, um, I understand there were some hopes that they might see sunlight, they might be free by the end of the day, but now it seems like it's been adjourned to November 1st. Yeah, November 1st is the next date on the books. You got to understand this. Uh, um, client solicitor privilege that they're trying to pierce and the circumstances around that. It has been mentioned numerous times that this is this is an anomaly in case law, so it's never actually occurred before in the history of Canadian law. And the judge did point out that he would be the, the first one ever making a ruling on this specific kind of uh, case. And that, so you got to think, like he's not just going to listen to the information and then less than 24 hours later come up with a decision. He's got to make a, his write-up and, and the explanation behind his decision. It's going to take a lot of time and probably respect to the judge. He's probably not going to just throw something out less than 24 hours later uh, as far as a decision and, and the reasons behind it, especially when it is uh, precedent in, in, in law.